Hi, my name is Regina Riley, and I'm lucky to be the advisor to the Iowa Tribe of Oklahoma's Unity Youth Council. So I'll be facilitating this cultural project today. So I'd like to introduce Leticia Cervantes. Hanwipi Leticia Cervantes Iganiki. Hello, um, nice to meet you. My name is Leticia Cervantes, and today I'm going to be um, introducing our presenters for today's culture presentation. Um, our youth council is from the Iowa Tribe of Oklahoma, which is headquartered in Perkins, Oklahoma. So first we'll have Peyton Falk, who will share a brief story of the origin of the Iowa Tribe of Oklahoma. Next we'll have Madison Fixico and Tracy Tanyan Jr., who will share and explain the regalia that's and how it's made and like um, their respective dances. Uh, lastly, we'll have Elwood McClellan Jr., who will share our calendar and explain the historic significance of our calendar. So Peyton. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Peyton Falk. The Iowa tribe of Oklahoma is historically a branch of the Sioux tribe. Originally from present day Minnesota, but we were, we were relocated to Oklahoma. Through relocation, the tribe was, was split up into two separate nations, one being the, order, the Northern Iowa of Kansas and Nebraska, and the second being us, the Iowa tribe of Oklahoma. Traditionally, we are of the woodland culture. However, due to relocation, we have now adopted um, Plains culture. We call ourselves Bacoje, people of the gray snow, because traditionally our winter dwellings became gray with. Aha, Tarifka, Shiyama, Minahiki, though. Madison switch fixiko min tawe, dai, hareki. Greetings, how are you? I'm glad to be here. My name is Madison switch fixiko, and today I will be showing you my beadwork. My beadwork is of a floral design because that is what is traditional to our Iowa people. A lot of the times you will see most Iowa men and women wear floral designs because it is traditional to our people. You will also see us wearing either specific family designs or the floral. Wadagahiki, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tracy Tanyan Jr. And today I'll be showing you parts of my regalia. Today, this is a this is my uh, harness and I have the eagle on there to represent that I'm part of the eagle clan. I, I dance the grass dance and I have the authority to dance it because I am from the Blackfeet Nation of Montana. And today, and I'll be working on, and I am working on my anklets for the bottoms of my, my legs. I just wanna thank you for inviting us to be here and uh, my culture is my prevention. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ella McClellan Jr. Um, I'm currently the chairman of this unity group and I wanted to share a little bit about our calendar and the significance behind it. Um, so this is the first project um, that we got sanctioned by our business committee because um, it incorporated our language. And as many know, there, there's um, disconnection throughout different tribes and things like that. So it's important for us to try to rebuild and establish new internal relationships between our unity group and the rest of our committee. So with this project, we partnered with the elders group as well because it was important for us to get input from our elders and really incorporate them in this project um, to help us learn and gain insight as well. So this is historical because this is the first calendar that we published. It has our language, it has different pictures that allow us to express ourselves in different ways and show some of our experiences. So moving forward, through this calendar project, we were able to establish connections and build upon this for later on down the road. Thank you. Wineki, thank you to the National uh, Unity Office for inviting us to share our culture presentation with them for the 2021 Unity Mid-Year Conference. 